This project is a study looking at seed dispersing ants and the plants that are dispersed by ants in this landscape. As you can see around us, this is a longleaf pine forest. And of course, the trees are one of the most important aspects of this landscape. But if you look down, a lot of these forbs, these low-lying plants, are actually distributed by ants. So that means that the ants pick up the seeds and move them around. Ordway Swisher is a special place because it has this history of land use where it has been used, but it's also been left pristine in other places. Studying ants here at Ordway gives an opportunity to take a look at intact communities in Florida, the way they would have been across the state years and years ago. In this experiment, there are two main questions. One is about the community of ants and plants that interact. Which ants are here in this system and which ants are actually the ones that are picking up the seeds and doing the seed dispersal of some of these plants? And then the other part is how does fire affect that relationship? The plots that we've chosen have a combination of downed wood and plots without them. And that is really allowing us to ask a question about the interaction of fire and downed wood. We have two hypotheses. One is that the wood will burn hot and actually be detrimental to the ants. And so the ants, when the fires come through, um, will be eliminated from those areas. And it might take some time for them to return. On the other hand, the wood might actually retain moisture and provide habitat for these, these ants so that after the fires burn, the ants can maintain their colonies during the burn and then bounce right back. The Jumpstart Award has been instrumental in allowing us to get this research off the ground. It's given us the opportunity to focus in on the system so that we could go ahead and apply for other grants and get some large-scale funding. In fact, this has been helpful in my grad student, Rachel, getting a research award. Now she's funded by the National Science Foundation. So about a third of the ant species that we've detected out here are attracted to plant seeds. We have a few candidate species that we think are a major player in seed dispersal. And so for those species specifically, we put out baits and when they come pick up that bait, we'll follow them back as they bring it back to their nest. So one of the things we are doing to get information on what ants are present is leaf litter sampling. So we do that about once every two weeks. We are also doing baits where we put out tuna and honey baits within each of my plots to see what ants are present in the wood versus the plots that don't have wood. And we also come out to do seed trials where we put out seeds that are ant dispersed to see what ants are removing those seeds from the plots. So one of the reasons this research is important is because we know that there are invasive species, especially of insects, that come into Florida every year. And it's increasingly an economic problem for our state. So part of this research is looking at what happens to communities that don't yet have invasive species. Are they more resilient? And this is something that will really hopefully help us understand a little bit more about what we can do to prevent more invasive species from coming in to our natural landscapes. As our climate changes here in Florida, we're predicted to see greater extremes of drought, but also of rain. This is going to affect fire patterns. And this affects the soils, of course, how saturated they are. And it's going to affect these forests because trees will be stressed out. And that could be very economically damaging um, to one of our biggest industries. And as climate changes, we won't really know what's changing within these ant communities or plant communities unless we have some baseline data in very pristine areas like in Ordway.